dear friends today we are going to discuss about aerosol aerosol is a type of dosis form in which drug is directly administered into respiratory system or we can also say it as it is a suspension of liquid or solid packed in pressurized container and one of the important thing about aerosol that it is a sterile product aerosol is mainly used in asthma example of drug which are generally administered in the form of aerosols are salbutamol ibrutropium bromide and sodium chromogylin now we will see about various components of aerosol first one is container one of the characteristic that container should follow is it should withstand pressure up to 140 to 180 psig at 130 degree celsius generally containers are made up of two substances uh, means any one of the following can be used first one is metal in metal tin plated steel or aluminium is used and in case of inhalation aerosol mainly st- stainless steel is prefer and next substance is glass uncoated glass or plastic coated glass is used in aerosol then next component in aerosol is wall wall is a one of, one of part of aerosol which regulates directs or controls flow by opening closing or partially obstructing various passageway again wall is of two types means first one is continuous spray wall and second one is, second one is metering wall in continuous spray wall it is uh, it is used with topical aerosol and next one is metering wall metering wall is mainly for uh, used to accurately deliver a fixed amount of drug means it is its range uh, generally ranges from 50 to 150 mg plus or minus 10% we'll see for various components which uh, different types of materials are used we can refer diagram of aerosol so it will get easy to understand various components of aerosol so now we will see about material which are used in the components and the first one is mounting cap it is generally made up of tin plate or aluminum in diagram we can easily see uh, how mounting cap lo- looks like N- uh, next one is wall body it is generally of 0.013 to 0.030 inch it is mainly made up of nylon or delrin next is stem it it has same dimension as like wall body only it is generally made up of nylon or delrin or brass next one is gasket uh, gasket is mainly made up of punna n neoprene or of rubber gasket uh, mainly provides attachment with upper part of aerosol with the remaining container then uh, next uh, next component is spring spring is mainly made up of stainless steel and last one is deep tube it is uh, made up of polyethylene or polypropylene next component of aerosol is actuator actuator is mainly used to deliver drug in proper form and in uh, proper uh, quantity there are mainly three types of actu- actuator first one is spray second one is foam actuator and last one is solid stream actuator now we will see about next component of aerosol which is most important ex- uh, component of aerosol or we can say it is a heart of aerosol that is propellant propellant is a chemical with vapor pressure greater than atmospheric uh, pressure it develops pressure in container it is used to expel out drug or vehicle out of the container so therefore it is most important exponent of uh, aerosol then uh, there are various type of propellant and to each propellant there is a specific numerical designation like we will see first one is trichloro monofluoromethane it it has given uh, numerical designation as 11 next one is dichloro difluoromethane it has numerical designation as 12 then third one is dichloro tetrafluoroethane it has numerical designation 114 and these first three are used for oral and inhalation aerosol means they are safe to inhale then next one is difluoroethane it it has designation of 1520 then next one is butane butane has numerical designation as a17 next one is isobutane it has numerical designation as a31 and last one is propane it has numerical designation as a108 and last three are used in 
topical aerosols like first three were used in oral or inhalational and last three are used in topical now we will say about different types of aerosol system in which first one is solution system uh, in solution system there are it is two phase system uh, and uh, propellant use are 5% foam plus 95% inhalation propellant so inhalation propellant as we have discussed they are first three means uh, numerical designation with 11 12 and 114 and in solution system lowering of vapor pressure is done next type of system is water based system uh, in this uh, water based system uh, propellant is external phase and it is three phase system means solution system was of two phase system and water based system is three phase system in water based system surfactants are used like esters of polybasic compounds are used then next one is suspension or dispersion type of system this uh, this type of uh, system is mainly used for oral inhalation and aerosol and one of the challenges with uh, every doses form that is stability so in case of suspension or dispersion system stability can be increased by controlling moisture content generally steroid comp compounds are administered through uh, this type of system means suspension or dispersion system and uh, propellant 11 or 12 are used in suspension system and uh, surfactants are non-ionic in the concentration of 0.01 to 1 percent in water based system we were using esters of polybasic compounds and in suspension system we are using non-ionic surfactants so now fourth and last type of system is foam system uh, in which active pharmaceutical ingredients and vehicle means uh, aqueous or non-aqueous vehicle surfactant propellant and quick, uh, quick big breaking foam are used uh, quick breaking foam means which is easily breakable uh, just by uh, shaking of aerosol container then uh, there are three types of foams first one aqueous stable foam second is non-aqueous uh, foam and third one is quick breaking foam earlier we have seen different types of propellant and how important propellant is in aerosol so now we will uh, look about uh, different methods of propellant filling first one is, is cold filling and second one is pressure filling in uh, first one uh, cold filling uh, product concentration is cooled to 0 to 10 degree Fahrenheit and then it is added to container uh, in this propellant is refrigerated at temperature minus 20 degree to minus 40 degree Fahrenheit and for this purpose neon cylinders are used in cold filling and next one is pressure filling uh, in pressure filling through wall opening propellant is added by pressurized car propellant at uh, various temperature at suitable temperature so this was all about propellant filling method now we'll be uh, look about finish specification of aerosol means uh, what are the standard uh, specification that uh, aerosol should be follow in this specification first one is flash point uh, for this uh, flash point method standard tack open apparatus is used in this uh, product is chilled to temperature about uh, nearly 20 uh, 55 degrees celsius then uh, next one is flame projection uh, uh, means uh, aerosol is spread for four, four seconds into flames so we can uh, easily uh, compare that with uh, standard as uh, generally propellants are explosive so this uh, flame projection test is important in that uh, perspective so now we will uh, discuss about physical chemical properties of aerosols uh, or about its uh, components means like propellant or uh, another thing first one is moisture content as we have earlier seen uh, we can easily increase the stability of aerosol uh, by controlling uh, moisture content so to determine moisture content car fissures method is used then next one is vapor pressure vapor pressure is measured with the help of pressure gauge uh, pressure vapor pressure plays an important role in aerosol then next one is particle size determination for determining particle size uh, we use cascade impactor or light scattering decay means uh, depending on particle size uh, penetration of that drug depends in respiratory tract and last one is identification of propellants uh, means we, we can say we can determine the which propellant we have used by the method of gas chromatography or IR spectroscopy now last one is some important points regarding aerosols 
like uh, first one is by using metering wall we can uh, deliver uh, drugs nearly in the range of 50 to 150 mg plus or minus 10 percent next one is fda approved material is used in wall next one is aerosol uh, aerosol is stored at temperature above about 40 degrees celsius fourth one is gauss pressure equation that is a uh, psi a minus 14.7 is equals to psig and last one is leak testing and burst test testing uh, in this process or testing sealed container is passed through hot water tank for three minutes and then container is uh, as is heated at 55 degrees celsius if that uh, container is leaked then it shows some defects and so that it can be removed from that batch